Hi, I'm Atif Javed. Let me show you how a moot court competition works. To my right are seated the petitioners and to my left are seated the respondents. And in the front are seated honorable judges and below them are seated the bailiffs. Now we'll start with the demonstration of the proceedings. Council seeks permission to approach the podium. Here, the council is asking for the permission to approach the podium. Because in a court of law, you have to ask for permission to do anything. The judge is basically the owner of that court. And you have to ask for permissions to do anything in a court of law. In this particular case, right now, the council has asked for the permission to approach the podium from where the council would begin his or her pleading. Permission granted. Council seeks permission to collectively address the bench as your lordships. Permission granted. Much obliged. Now you'll have to brief the judges about the reason that you are here in front of the court. So you'll say, my lordships, this is council number one appearing on behalf of petitioners in the case X and Y, X versus Y. My lords, I'll be speaking the issue one and two in five minutes and my co-counsel will be addressing issue three and four in four minutes. So you'll have to decide the time yourself. You'll have to see and uh, accumulate in this the case that you are to speak for and then you have to present your issues very wisely. You have to distribute the issues among you and the co-counsel. For example, you have four issues. So you will be speaking at least 50% of those issues. So you'll be speaking issue one and two. And then your co-counsel would be speaking issue number three and issue number four. Your Lordship, this is counsel number one appearing on behalf of the petitioner in the case of X versus Y. In the instant case, there are four issues. I would be dealing with the first two issues and my co-counsel would be dealing with the third and fourth issues. I would be taking 30 minutes and my co-counsel would be taking 30 minutes as well. And the rest of the two minutes have been reserved for the rebuttal. Perhaps by now you realize how important the management of time is. So you'll have to manage the time on the basis of the issues that you have to speak. One important thing that came up here is rebuttal. What is a rebuttal? Rebuttal is a formal reply to the arguments put forward by the respondents. And this rebuttal is done by the petitioners. Now you might be wondering, what is the position of a bailiff in a courtroom? So a bailiff is a person who in a moot court competition takes the documents from you and transfer them to the judges. You never give your documentation directly to the judges. It is the bailiff who is the person who carries this transaction further from the council to the judge. And therefore, now you go for the demonstration of that. Your Lordship, I would like to refer this document to the bench. Your Lordship, kindly refer to the paragraph 4 and line 4. I would like to call my co-counsel who would be dealing with issue number 3 and 4. Permission granted. Much obliged. The council seeks permission to vacate the podium. Permission granted. Much obliged. The council seeks permission to approach the podium. Permission granted. Much obliged. Once the co-counsel has spoken and the arguments advanced have been made, the next thing is the prayer. And therefore, now we'll demonstrate how a prayer is made in a court of law. Your Lordship, the council seeks permission to recite the prayer. Permission granted. Much obliged, Your Lordship. Your Lordship, therefore, in the light of issue raised, argument advanced, and the authority cited, this honorable court may be pleased to adjourn and declare that the marriage between the Mukesh and Shabana is valid as per the provision of the Special Marriage Act 1954. And Your Lordship, the provisions of Section 11, Res Judicata, under the Code of Civil Procedure, is applicable to the proceedings initiated in the District Court Hamipur. And Your Lordship, this court may pass any order in the light of justice, equity, and good conscience. And for this, the respondent shall be duty bound. Once the arguments conclude, each party, in furtherance of their arguments, seeks a relief. That relief sought is the prayer. Well, that's it. I'll see you around. Happy mooting.